Hopefully you watched our first video on the heroin addiction cure called Hope is Dope. If not, please click the link and then come right back. In that video we talk about how endorphins and opioids have the same basic shape and therefore they have the same effect on the body. Another way to think about this is like a lamp. When an endorphin goes into the opioid receptor, a light goes on and you have an effect and a good feeling floods the body. It's the same with heroin. If heroin goes into the opioid receptor, a light goes on and you have an effect and a good feeling floods the body. This is a perfect analogy for Christians because the goal for a Christian is to receive the light. In Matthew 17, 20, Jesus said faith the size of a mustard seed can move a mountain. Most of us realize he's not talking about actual mountains. He's not a geologist or a landscaper. He's a healer. He's referring to barriers in our lives. Things like depression and resentment and addiction. The types of things that block the light of the Holy Spirit. Now the quickest pathway to curing from addiction is through receiving that kind of light. Things like exercise and nutrition and music are great, but the gold standard for producing endorphins is spirituality, especially found in the presence of Jesus Christ in our lives. And then you can move mountains. The Holy Spirit is healthy energy that fuels the brain. It's food for the soul, and it removes emotional blocks that trigger addiction, things like anxiety and anger. The Holy Spirit is the light, and the light produces endorphins that reduces cravings and it acts as a perfect defense against relapse. The Bible is all about this kind of healing. Jesus says that the kingdom of heaven is inside of you, and that's true when you're filled with endorphins. It's the key to recovery and to life. Just as sunlight offers warmth to poison ivy and roses alike, the grace of God offers the healing power of the Holy Spirit to all of us without discrimination. All you have to do is be open to it. If you're inspired by reading scripture, or if you're moved by listening to music, it's because you've been touched by the light. The Holy Spirit key moves into the endorphin lock, and you have an effect. 
I've worked with thousands of clients over the years. The ones who succeed are the ones who develop their sense of spirituality. A connection to God is an endorphin rush. It's a spiritual high.